Hello, welcome to my channel, Weekend Makes. My name is Chelsea. In case you're new here, I pretty much just talk about anything related to knitting. And for today's video, I'm just gonna share everything that I worked on in the month of April. And this video is gonna be a Super Express video because I only have two pieces to talk about. The first is a finished object and the second is a work in progress. So I um, guess we can just jump right into it. Uh, the first piece that I have to show is this camisole. It's camisole number five by My Favorite Things Knitwear. This guy right here. And I follow the pattern exactly as it's written. Didn't make any modifications. Um, so I used the suggested material, which is Knitting for Olives Merino Wool. I used the color pomegranate. And I knitted this using three millimeter needles. And I made a size medium in case in case that's helpful to you. Um, I ended up using, to make a size medium, a little less than three skeins of the uh, merino wool from Knitting for Olive. And I mean, I had I really enjoyed knitting this guy. The only, I guess, tedious part was working the body, which is two by two rib on three millimeter needles. So I did, it did take me a bit of, uh, it did take me some time to work on this because I did start this last year and I just finished it this month, but I think because I kind of got bored by knitting the body, I just kind of put it down and then picked it up again last month. Yeah, I mean, this is, and there's really not much to say about this. It's a pretty tried and true pattern. Uh, a lot of people have knitted this. Um, I will say that the only drawback is, and this is my fault, is the um, material that I use because for being a summer top, you don't really want to wear wool and in hindsight I should have picked a um, a lighter material like cotton to make this piece but I mean other than that I do have a very toasty tank top which I'll definitely get a lot of use if not during the spring then for sure in the fall and winter time as a base layer. I will say that even though it is a toasty tank top um, I'm really glad that I made it because I did learn two really cool techniques from doing this pattern. The first being a provisional cast on, which um, allows for this seamless strap. So I guess usually, or what I've made in the past, I would knit the front and the back separately and then have to sew the two pieces together, leaving a very obvious line here. But because I use the provisional cast on method, which basically allows you to make the front strap and then you can go back to the beginning and then just make the back, which is what allows the seamless uh, strap. So that's um, definitely something that I'm gonna take away from this pattern. As well, I learned how to do uh, the double knitted edges. So again, from my own experience, I've only ever made um, armhole edges using a one by one rib. And in this design, since the body itself is a ribbed pattern, the double knitted edges allow for a really cool contrast. Um, because I guess like, you know, you make a ribbed body, you don't want a ribbed armhole edge. You know, like, that doesn't look cool, but this looks cool. So, so that's it for the camisole number five by My Favorite Things Knitwear. And that's also the only finished object from the month of April. And the only other thing that I worked on, which is this vest right here, it is the Weekend Slipover by Petite Knit, the V-neck version. And this is what it looks like. I actually just finished the body last night, so I'm getting there, I'm almost done. I just have to do the bottom edge and the neck and armhole edges. And this I did have to make some modifications because I'm not using the suggested material. Um, the, su the suggested yarn, I actually, um, I remember looking up the pattern before making this video and I cannot pronounce it at all. So I will link it down below in case uh, that's of interest to you or I'll link the pattern down below and then you can see the material that's suggested. But for this piece, I am, holding together the Malabrigo Rios yarn, which is a superwash merino wool. And I'm holding out, holding that with this silk mohair 
blend from Edo. It's the Edo Sensei Mohair. And it's a little more mohair, 60% mohair, 40% silk. It's in the color Iron Blue. And I gotta say, I mean, this fabric is so soft. And I mean, I think generally superwash wool is soft. Um, but I mean, with the mohair, it's, it's just really nice. I definitely uh, feel lucky that I could, that I'm making this, you know. But I will say that when I knitted a gauge swatch, because I am using superwash wool, so I wanted to make a swatch, block it, and then see if my gauge matched what was written on the pattern, because superwash wool does have a reputation for increasing in size after blocking. So I wanted to make sure that I knew what my um, stitch count was, what, what the gauge would be on the suggested needle size, which is 5.5 millimeters. And I ended up getting um, a very holy fabric. So then I went down a needle size. So for this piece, I'm using 4.5 millimeters. And when I made the gauge swatch for that, after blocking it, I ended up getting a much smaller gauge than what was recommended. So for what I knitted, I got 20 stitches. Um, and honestly, I don't, I don't know how many rows, it was about 30 rows for the height, but um, usually, <laughs> I, I know this is, a, this is not good practice, but I feel like I can finesse my way with the length, just like measure it as I go before the width. I think that's really important to make sure that you know what the number of stitches to cast on, otherwise your piece could end up being too small or too big. Um, so. Yeah, because my stitch, or because my gauge swatch, or sorry, because my stitch count was much smaller than what was recommended in the pattern, which was 15 stitches across, I decided to size up in the piece that I'm making. So I'm actually knitting a size large. My typical size is a medium. And so this piece actually, even though I cast it on the number of stitches for a size large, it's more like a medium or if it's more like a medium. So that's that for the modifications I made for this pattern. So I guess just to quickly recap, I'm using a full needle size down. I'm using 4.5 millimeters instead of 5.5 um, since my gauge swatch was much smaller than what was recommended in the pattern. And I'm also using Malabrigo Rios yarn held together with the Edo Sensei mohair. Um, yeah, so that's it for the weekend slipover vest. And that's also it for everything that I worked on in the month of April. Uh, like I said, this was gonna be a very, oh, there's a car beeping. Try to wait until it's done. So that's it for the weekend slipover vest. And that's also it for everything that I worked on in the month of April. Like I said, this was gonna be a super express video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.